Hello everyone. Today I will discuss about the violation of the law of union of epiphyses by the fibula. I am the presenter Dr. Rubaiyat Jahan, MS Anatomy and lecturer of anatomy, Shohit Sarwardi Medical College. Before going to the violation, at first we should know what is the law of union of epiphyses. As we all know that a typical long bone has a diaphysis and two epiphyses on its two ends. And the law is uh, the epiphyseal center which appear first that will uh, unite last with the diaphysis and vice versa. It means uh, the epiphyseal center which appear first that will remain longer time and unite with the diaphysis later than that of the other center. So this end of the bone will be counted as the growing end. To understand the violation, we should know some other information as well as the law. When a long bone possesses two types of epiphysis like pressure epiphysis and traction epiphysis, the ossification center uh, in the pressure epiphysis will appear earlier than that of the traction epiphysis and the direction of the nutrient artery would be the opposite to the growing end. We all know that the fibula is a long bone and it has two epiphyses on its two ends. The upper end is the traction epiphysis and the lower end is the pressure epiphysis. We all know that the traction epiphysis is formed by the pulling of the muscle and here uh, the muscle is biceps femoris. And uh, we also know that the fibula uh, is, uh, does not transmit body weight in the standing position but it transmit weight of the foot when for the foot lies off the ground and transfer it, uh, transfer this weight uh, through its lower end to the tibia. And that's why this end is termed as pressure epiphysis. In the fibula, the direction of the nutrient artery towards the low, uh, lower end. As we already know that the growing end of the bone lies opposite to the direction of the nutrient artery. Here in the fibula, the nutrient artery directed towards the lower end. So the opposite end that is upper end would be the growing end. Now come to the violation. The fibula has an upper end, a shaft and a lower end. The upper end is the traction epiphysis and lower end is the pressure epiphysis. We already know that if a long bone has two types of epiphysis, then epiphyseal center will appear earlier in the pressure epiphysis and the epiphyseal center in the traction epiphysis will appear later. So according to the normal rule of the union of the epiphyses, the epiphyseal center in the lower end of the fibula should unite with the diaphysis later. But if we see in the shaft, the direction of the nutrient artery is towards the lower end. So this center unites first with the diaphysis than that of the upper end. In case of the upper end, the epiphyseal center are appear later and also unites with the diaphysis last, which is the violation of the law of the union of epiphysis. So this is the end of the video. Hope you will understand. Thank you all.